The Surgery, 95.6 BRFM. Now, for the last two weeks, we've been really lucky enough. People who've been on the X Factor on the radio. Yeah. We had um, Eddie String two weeks ago. Yeah. We had Dal Ali last week. And this week, we are very lucky to have Alistair J on the phone. Good evening, Alistair. Hello, how you doing? I'm not too bad. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. I'm doing very well. Now, you've been on the X Factor twice. Yes, I was in it in 2009, I got to boot camp, and I went on it this year as well, but I was in a band this time called Eli Prime, and we managed to get to boot camp as well. So yeah, it's a great experience. So you actually did boot camp again this year? Yeah, yeah, it's very, very tough, very intense, very intense week. What kind of music did Eli Prime perform on the show? Um, Well, it's kind of, it's not what you think, because... They actually choose what you have to sing. Really? So have to sing. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> You're giving away the secrets now. Uh, no, I shouldn't be. I should I sh- actually. Let me. Let me be quiet. For no, just ca- <laughs> just carry on. I mean, with all the controversy at the weekend, let's just have more. <laughs> yeah. So we had to sing um, Beyonce "Crazy in Love." Oh, that was a boot camp. Yes, that was a boot camp. Yeah. Ah, and I, I take not... it didn't go too well. No, it didn't because once we performed, the judges actually said, "I'm sorry, boys, but." The journey's over. But then, Nicole Scherzinger took me out of the band and she put me into another band. Oh, which other band did you go into? Well, I'm not too sure if you know... Do you know Union J? I I do know, yes. Um, One of the boys from Union J called George Shelley. I was in a band with him, but none of that got televised. Oh. And, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Great experience. It was a great experience. Wow, that's brilliant. So what song did you originally sing at your first audition? Um, first audition, we sung a Chris Brown song called um, Turn Up The Music. Have you heard that one before? Ah, uh, yes, I have actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that went really down well. Again, it didn't get televised, but um, I sh- the, the, Mel B got me to show my abs on TV. Oh. I gave a Nando's card to Talisa, but none of that got televised, which was a shame. Which, who was your favourite judge? Oh, Talisa, wow. For, what reason? Oh, Talisa's very... Actually, no, can I change that? Nicole Scherzinger. Oh, you, you want them all? <laughs> Cole Scherzinger is um, very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lady. Wow. What do you think of Gary Barlow? Barlow, oh Gary Barlow, sound guy, sound sound guy, very nice guy as well. Cool. So, what are you doing now? You've um, finished your X Factor experience. What's next for Alistair J? Um, what's next? I've just been in the studio, um, just been making more material. Um, I've just got management recently, which is exciting. Wow. So, yeah, I'm just trying to make things happen. It's really tough industry, but persistence gets you everywhere. Do you think the X Factor's helped you move your career forward? Um, yeah, kind of a little bit. Like, it's made me know who I am as a person, as an artist. Um, yeah, it has helped quite a bit, actually. Like, doing it for, like, two years, I found myself now, and I think I know what lane I'm going to direct myself in, if that makes sense. Brilliant. Now, have you been watching The X Factor? Oh, yeah, yeah, I have. Have you? Uh, absolutely. I'm glued to it every week, actually. <laughs> Who's uh, your favourite? My, my favourite this year, do you know Ella? Ella, oh, yeah, she's amazing. Ella she? or Jermaine, they are my two favourites. Jermaine, yeah, Jermaine. I thought you said Ryland, then. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Why not? Do you know what? If I if I saw Ryan in the street, I wouldn't talk to him. I'd walk right past. I'm going to be. No, no, I don't believe you. I, I, he annoys me. Really? Why? I just. <laughs> I mean, okay. There's got to be novelty acts, but did you see him on Saturday doing that Egyptian thing? Just oh, no. Man. I did see that. That was. Um, I, I haven't got no comment for that. No, exactly. No comment. <laughs> but what do you actually think? What happened this weekend? Do you think it was all a big fix, or do you think oh, it really what? was oh, Louis oh, being man, a Louis? Like, oh. Yeah, yeah. In my opinion, I, yeah, it was a fix. Man. Good, I'm glad you said that, because that's my opinion, too. <laughs> I saw the producers <laughs> yeah. talking to Louis, and I thought, oh, that exactly, looks a bit dodgy. Yeah, exactly. Look, it's a TV... Well, it's, it's a talent show, but it's a TV show, and, like, you know, they've got to bring in LaVio, so, I don't know, controversy is the main thing, right? It is. Well, I've got to say, thank you very much for talking to us tonight and taking oh, time no out your problem. schedule. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Alistair. Now, I thought, you know, I think you should introduce the song you first sang at boot camp for us on BRFM, please. Oh, yeah, sure. OK. Um, this is BRFM, and the first song that we sung on boot camp is Beyonce, Crazy in Love. No, it wasn't. It was Chris Brown, Turn Up the Music. <laughs> oh, did you say... Oh, I thought you said boot camp. I probably did and probably got it wrong. <laughs> OK. Oh, bad. I'm going to take that back. Go, do it again. Start again. OK. This is BRFM, and the first song I'm going to introduce you to, guys, is Chris Brown, Turn Up the Music. <laughs> Thank you very much, Alistair J. Cheers, matey. Take care. Bye. Trevor Fox, The Surgery, 95.6, BRFM.